Earth is the third planet from the Sun, and the only astronomical object known to harbor life. While large amount of water can be found throughout the solar system, only Earth sustains liquid surface water. Right now, the Earth is suffering from what is called climate change and global warming. Throughout its long history, Earth has warmed and cooled time and again. Climate has changed and when the planet receives more or less sunlight due to subtle shifts in its orbit, as the atmospheres or surface change, or when the sun's energy varies. But in the past century, another force has started to influence Earth's climate, humanity. What is a climate change? Climate change is a change in the usual weather found in a place. This could be a change in how much rain a place usually gets in a year, or it could be a change in a place usual temperature for a month or season. Climate change is also a change in Earth's climate. This could be a change in Earth's usual temperature, or it could be a change in where rain and snow usually fall on Earth. Weather can change in, a, in just a few hours. Climate takes hundreds or even millions of years to change. What is global warming? Global warming is the unusually rapid increase in Earth's average surface temperature over the past century primarily due to the greenhouse gases released. The global average surface temperature rose 0.6 to 0.9 degrees Celsius between 1906 and 2005 and the rate of temperature increase has nearly doubled in the last 50 years. Temperatures are certain to go up further. At the pace of current CO2 emissions, scientists expect an increase of between 1.5 degrees and 5.3 and degrees Celsius in average temperature by 2100. If no action is taken, it would have harmful consequences to humanity and the biosphere. The main of climate change is the burning of fossil fuels, which produce the gases in the greenhouse effect. Some gases in the Earth's atmosphere act a bit like the glass in a greenhouse, trapping the sun's heat and stopping it from leaking back into space and causing global warming. Many of these greenhouse gases occur naturally, but human activity is increasing the concentrations of some of them in the atmosphere. In particular, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and fluorinated gases. Carbon dioxide produced by human activities is the largest contributor to global warming. By 2020, its concentration in the atmosphere had risen to 48% above its pre-industrial level before 1750. Other greenhouse gases are emitted by human activity in smaller quantities. Methane is a more powerful greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide, but has a shorter atmospheric lifetime. Nitrous oxide, like CO2, is a long-lived greenhouse gas that accumulates in the atmosphere over decades to centuries. Natural causes, such as changes in solar radiation or volcanic activity, are estimated to have contributed less than plus or minus 0.1 degrees Celsius to total warming between 1890 and 2010. The other human activities that make climate change are cutting down forests or deforestation, produce carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide, increasing livestock farming, cows and sheep produce large amount of methane when they digest their food. Fertilizers containing nitrogen produce nitrous oxide emissions. Fluorinated gases are emitted from equipment and products that use these gases. Such emissions have a very strong warming effect, up to 23,000 times greater than CO2. We can prevent climate change by doing these things that will make a big impact in our world. Save energy at home. Much of our electricity and heat are powered by coal, oil, and gas. Use less energy by lowering your heating and cooling, switching to LED light bulbs and energy efficient electric appliance washing your laundry with cold water or hanging things to dry instead of using a dryer walk bike or take public transport the world's roadways are clogged with vehicles most of them burning diesel or gasoline 
Walking or riding a bike instead of driving will reduce greenhouse gas emissions and help your health and fitness. You can also eat more vegetables. Eating more vegetables, fruits, whole grains, legumes, nuts and seeds, and less meat and dairy can significantly lower your environmental impact. Producing plant-based foods generally results in fewer greenhouse gas emissions and requires less energy, land, and water. Consider your travel. Airplanes burn a large amount of fossil fuels, producing significant greenhouse gas emissions that makes taking fewer flights one of the fastest ways to reduce your environmental impact. When you can meet virtually, take a train, or skip that long distance trip altogether. Throw away less food. When you throw food away, you're also wasting the resources and energy that were used to grow, produce, package, and transport it. And when food rots in a landfill, it produces methane, a powerful greenhouse gas. So use what you buy and compost any leftovers. Reduce, reuse, repair, and recycle. Electronics, clothes, and other items we buy cause carbon emissions at each point in production. From the extraction of raw material to manufacturing and transporting goods to market. To protect our climate, buy fewer things, shop secondhand, repair what you can, and recycle. Although it might be expensive, you can change your home source of energy. Ask your utility company if your home energy comes from oil, coal, or gas. If possible, see if you can switch to renewable sources such as wind or solar. Switch to an electric vehicle. If you plan to buy a car, consider going electric, with more and cheaper models coming on the market. Even if they still run on electricity produced from fossil fuels, electric cars help reduce air pollution and cause significantly fewer greenhouse gas emissions than gas or diesel powered vehicles. Choose eco-friendly products. Everything we spend money on affects the planet. You have the power to choose which goods and services you support. To reduce your environmental impact, buy local and seasonal foods. Speak up. Speak up and get others to join in taking action. It's one of the quickest and most effective ways to make a difference. Talk to your neighbors, colleagues, friends, and family. So it is our responsibility as part of the world's community by doing small things together to prevent climate change and global warming for our children, grandchildren, and all the next generations.